Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm bringing you episode 67 of my brand new comics haul series. This is my weekly series where I go over all of the brand new comics that I picked up at my local comic shop every single week, and I tell you guys everything you need to know about all of the issues I grab. This week I've got six issues in total, pretty decent haul, I'm really excited to get into these books because there's some really great releases here. We'll start it off with my most anticipated book in a second. First of all though, we gotta get this bag out of the way now that the books are out of it. And of course we gotta roll that awesome new intro. Alright everyone, that intro was done by Radical Toys, another huge shout out to him for making that super awesome animated intro, I'm glad you guys have been liking it so far, but let's get right into this haul. Like I said, I've got six issues in total, they all released this week, uh, six single issues, five of them from Marvel, and one of them is from Image, I'll show the Image one at the end. Let's get right into it though with my most anticipated issue of the week. This week that's going to go to Savage Avengers issue number one, the first issue in this brand new supposedly, I guess, ongoing series. A few months ago they wrapped up the last volume with number 28 right? That was Jerry Duggan's whole run. I only grabbed a few issues at the beginning of it. Didn't like it too much, but I heard that it got a lot better as it went on. Now we've got a brand new writer and artist on this, though, and we have a brand new uh, team lineup, too. So this is written by Dave Popose, someone that I'm not familiar with, but I've heard good things about this issue and his writing so far. He's also taking over Fantastic Four for a little bit, so Marvel's definitely giving him some big titles right off the bat. The artwork in here is by Carlos Magno. It looks a little bit cluttered at times. I've heard this issue is a little bit wordy at times, also, so that might take away from it a little bit. I'm still really hyped for this, though. So that's Savage Avengers number one. Hopefully this uh, this uh, first issue is better than the first issue of the last volume. All right, guys, let's continue on with Marvel Comics. I've got some other really big releases from them this week, so let's get right into it. This next issue that I've got right here is Thor number 25, and this is really important because it's Banner of War part two. For any of you guys who picked up Banner of War Alpha number one, you probably already know this by the checklist that they had in the back, but you do need to pick up Thor 25, and then it's going to be Hulk number seven for part part three. Thor number 26, I think, is part four, and then Hulk number eight is the final part, part five. So this is this big crossover that we've got going on in both of the ongoing series of Hulk and Thor. They're both written by Donny Cates. It's both characters' 60th anniversaries this year, so they had to do some sort of crossover, right? Man, that first issue was so good. If you want a little bit more info on it, you gotta check out my review, which I put out uh, the week that it came out last week. This has faced a little bit of deadline uh, issues, I think, so there was originally supposed to be more space in between the first and second, part, so we'll probably have it more uh, frequently coming out than it was supposed to. I'm good with that, because I want to read this as quickly as it can come out. I really, really like that first issue. The artwork pleasantly surprised me by Martin Cocolo. This also has a couple backup stories, because it's number 25. Not too great on Marvel's part there, but I'll still read them. That's Thor number 25. All right, guys, I've got a few more issues that I ended up picking up from Marvel Comics this week. The next one that I've got here is another pretty big release. This is Fantastic Four issue number 43, and we've still got the Reckoning War tag up there. This is Reckoning War, I think, part five or six at this point, uh, and it's going to be eight parts in total. The wrap-up to it, I think, is in number 45. That's going to be like an oversized final issue. So we've still got a lot of the way to go with Reckoning War. It's been a while since we had an issue of this released. Unlike most Marvel events, they're kind of taking their time with it. It's only contained within the pages of Fantastic Four. And we've got basically this idea that there's this alien race called the Reckoning. They've been around since the beginning of Marvel history, and uh, they had a connection to the Watchers back when the Watchers were actually these uh, beings that would supply different planets with special technology, special weaponry, so that they could upgrade and, you know, uh, have their evolution become faster. But then the Reckoning started going around to other planets and conquering them with this special technology. Uh, the Watchers had to shield them from the rest of the Marvel universe. Now they're back and they're wreaking havoc on everyone, supplying these special, like, futuristic weaponry to different alien races. I can't recommend this enough. That's Fantastic Four number 43. All right, guys, next up from Marvel Comics this week, I've got the end to a big story arc here. This is Eternals number 12. The cover here is by Asad Rabik. He also does all of the interior artwork, which is good to see. There's been some guest artists lately, but he's back on to wrap up this story arc, and it says it all ends here. Does that mean that, like, the whole Eternals series ends here? Not exactly. We don't know if it's going to continue 
continue or not. But for now, it's going on a little bit of a break because the whole Judgment Day event is starting up next month. But we do have Thanos in this book right now. That's a huge deal. He's not in any other Marvel titles right now. And it's honestly surprising that he's been resurrected in Eternals. We've got this whole like kind of retcon, I guess you could call it, to uh, his origin story. It turns out that Thanos is an Eternal himself. I'll leave it up to that. There's a one shot called Thanos Rises that was really good that explained that whole situation. So I recommend that. Eternals has been pretty good. There's definitely a lot of like exposition dumps going on in the series right now. A lot of different changes being made to the origins and just the history of the Eternals. But I'm really into it so far and I can't wait for Judgment Day. The end to this story arc, I don't know if this is the end to the main Eternal series, but we do have Judgment Day after this at least. That's Eternals number 12. Moving on, I've got one more issue from Marvel Comics to show you guys this week. This is one that I didn't actually think was still on my pull list. I had to grab it because my shop set it aside. I'm still happy to read this because I did like the first issue, but I probably will end it after this uh, second issue unless it's like super good and I just have to keep it on my pull list for some reason. But this one is X-Men Red issue number two. So that first issue, I did enjoy it for the most part. I thought it had some cool concepts. Magneto being integrated into the book, I really liked that with him just kind of like retiring from the Quiet Council. And we saw that happen in Immortal X-Men, which is like the flagship X-Men book right now. Number two of that I think also came out this week. Magneto like retired to Arako, of course, like the alien sister planet to Krakoa on Earth. Uh, and he like built this whole mansion or some like castle out of just this chunk of metal that he had brought to the moon. The metal was like way smaller than it seemed like it actually became bigger once he built the house. I don't know. The writing is pretty decent by Al Ewing. There was a couple things I didn't understand because this is kind of a follow up to the sword series that wrapped up a while ago. But yeah, X-Men Red issue number two. I'm pretty excited to read this one. All right, everyone. Thank you for sticking around all the way till this final issue. Like I said, I did get one issue from Image Comics this week. It's one I'm pretty hyped for this week. And this is A Town Called Terror number one. I did do a full review of the first issue of this series a month ago. You can check that out if you want a little bit more information on this new ongoing horror series from Image Comics. I think I gave it like a 7 out of 10. I'm really curious to see where the series is going to go, but my thoughts pretty much to sum it all up for that first issue were that the artwork was amazing. It was pretty much done mostly in black and white and red, like those different Marvel and DC series, but um, more artistically well done by Simone Kudransky. That's why you got to get this book, because of the art. It's so good in here, but the writing was super basic. We've just got this plot where this guy uh, who was born in this town, which is literally called Terror that has like a thousand inhabitants. He's been called back to this town that he had left uh, as soon as he had grown up. He didn't want to come back here at all, but his father is like some sort of Frankenstein guy who's been resurrected a bunch of times. He's had many funerals, but he always comes back. Super creepy cover here. I'm a little bit intrigued by the story, but th this is mostly one that I want to get for the artwork. I've heard this issue picks up a little bit though. Hopefully it will. That's a town called Terror number two. Well, all right then. Those were all of the issues that I ended up picking up for a new comic book day this week. Six issues is pretty good for me. It's a good haul that I can't wait to get through all of those issues. Eternals, I'm really looking forward to seeing how the Thanos storyline wraps up and how that ends up leading into Judgment Day. Thor 25, definitely a big one this week. Savage Avengers, I can't wait to read that one. And let me know if you guys want a review of that one which I'll probably put out tomorrow. Thank you guys so much for watching. Of course, let me know what you picked up down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video or if you got some good information from it uh, about the books that I talked about, you can hit that subscribe button down below. There's also the notifications bell which is sitting right next to it if you want to be notified every time I drop a new video if you don't want to miss any. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.